It's strange enough to some that this rounded trumpet and this elongated oboe both share the name horn. Quite simply, the French horn is not French, and the English horn is neither English nor horn. The English horn is a variant on the older oboe de caccia, which is translated hunting oboe. You know, for all those times you're up in your deer stand and you really just wish you had brought along your oboe. At that time, the oboe de caccia did have a bell at the end of it just like a horn, and it's possible that that's why its name followed it after its metamorphosis. The name confusion probably came from its Middle German name, meaning angelic horn, named after the angelic creatures that were seen playing it in medieval paintings. However, in the vernacular at the time, this word could mean either angelic or English, which at first I questioned that. Then I remembered that I speak English, and English homonyms cause a multitude of problems. For example, the words left and right both have like 13 different definitions. The Italians picked up the term corno inglese in 1749, quickly followed by the French cor inglese. Ironically enough, this instrument wasn't even common in England until the 1830s. Anyway, thanks to this linguistic telephone pictionary, we ended up with the not English, not horn, English horn. The French horn, on the other hand, is certainly a horn, but is definitely not French. France was a well-known manufacturer of hunting horns in the 15th and 16th century, with hunting horns themselves being popular in both Germany and France. Once horns entered the concert hall, German instrument makers began making interchangeable crooks so that players could play in different keys. The story goes that players started referring to these as German horns, while the older hunting horn was referred to as the French horn. From there, just about every upgrade to the modern horn was made by German manufacturers. But somehow the name French horn stuck most persistently in the United States. In 1971, the International Horn Society kindly asked everyone to refer to it as just the horn, and because we're Americans, we didn't. There's also a story that says that the English referred to it as the French horn to differentiate it from their own angelic horn, and while it's funny to consider that England would think that the opposite of angelic is French, the story itself is probably apocryphal. In summary, one, both the English horn and the French horn are misnomers, and two, both were developed in Germany. Thanks for watching this episode of Two Minute Music Theory. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode. Also, be sure to check out my other channel, Jesse Strickland Music, which is home to all of my compositions. And if you're the kind of person who uses social media, be sure to connect with me over there.